Hello there everyone, it's me Justin, your Eagle Skipper, here with part two of our Messy Reborn, Reborn Messy, that save, <laughs> where we have put in uh, five, six players, and uh, they were wonder kids, really high potential, and we get to find out how your career ends up. So uh, I have already skipped forward, as you can see, to the 31st of December 2028, our guys are now sitting at 24 years old, and well, I mean, just looking at this screen, Zlatan Ibrahimovic is the head coach at Wolfsburg and not doing well after being at Udinese. What's his, what's his milestones? What's his job? Was he fired? He just left. He left Udinese to go to Wolfsburg and now is likely to get fired. Anyways, let's take a look at our shortlist. And, uh, I mean, we can see some of our players up there now, but it looks like, what is that? Is it Zidane, is Zidane still there? Yeah, Zidane Zidane is still at Real Madrid. He got our shortlist. And who is it at Bayern? Is it the same guy? It is. It's Hans Dieter Flick. Both Flick and Zidane got our shortlist and have pulled in all of our players to these two clubs. Let's go top to bottom. So first up on the list, we've got Tony DNA, the right winger. I mean, he just looks fantastic. I mean, he's worth 88 million. How has how has his career turned up? So he he spent quite a number of years at Spurs before leaving for Man United for 104 million pounds. My goodness. Okay. Well, he spent one full season playing for Spurs. Got nine goals, nine assists, eight player of the matches, a 7.78 average rating. I mean, that's fantastic. I think. I think the real Tony DNA would be pretty upset to see that he went to Man United after that um, and then didn't recapture the same form that he had that he had with Spurs. But uh, he did end up going to Bayern Munich where he's gotten put in a lot more assists, a much better average rating of the past few seasons, though hasn't been playing as many games. What's he doing national team wise? He's got 46 appearances, five goals for the England national team. Is he considered their key player he is indeed considered their their key player with peter bosch as a uh, head coach of the english national team i'm sure y'all are loving this all right well uh that's tony dna how's he i mean i mean he just looks fantastic i don't know what more to say um yeah then we'll move on to pizza man uh really not playing well 41 valued 41 million and he got two games this season playing for the full team my goodness but he scored 20 over 42 appearances for Bayern he's been here for a number of years started out tra at Trey Fiore in San Marino those those three seasons really did him in because he didn't develop at all current ability wise he left for two million pounds to go to Bayern and has been spent a couple times out on loan against Colm and against Roma where he got he got a lot of game time for Colm 30 games in the Bundesliga. Uh, I mean, he was 25-26. He got 10 starts for for the Giants of Bayern, but, I mean, they must have brought in somebody. Let's see, did they bring in a striker? Who are their strikers? Let's take a look at their tactics. This guy, Gary Cooper. Would you start him over Pizza Man? I wouldn't. Well, sorry, Pizza Man. You're getting started over by that guy right there. Um... But yeah, how's he doing for the national team? He's playing for the Faroe Islands. He did decide against for them. Didn't play for Mongolia, apparently. 21 goals in 66 caps for the national team. And uh, let's skip over and see Drew Holler, our final Bayern Munich player. My goodness, Drew. My goodness. 30 goals in 52 caps for the English national team. Look how... Oh my gosh. Look how well he's developed. Drew Holler is truly one of the world soccer's global superstars. My goodness. Um, he's worth 87 million pounds. 116 million pounds being spent on him. First going to Lazio, then to Bayern. He uh, played for Rio Ave at the beginning. Got 10 goals in his second season. Not too shabby, though. For a striker, you'd expect a little bit more. But he's really started to pick it up. This season has been an off-season. Though he has, as we saw from before, he's been playing in attacking midfield instead of as the out-and-out -out striker. And, I mean, 18 goals the previous year. It's not too shabby. Um, but, yeah. 
good average rating. Didn't do the best in his younger years at Lazio, but he did fine. Let's go and take a look at Eagle Skipper, the first person not to be in Germany. He is playing for Real Madrid. He started at Darlington, went for half a million pounds to Liverpool, went on loan to Porto, and then has been starting ever since, first for Liverpool, then for Real Madrid. I mean, 51 overall career goals and 196 career appearances. He didn't start every game. Who, who is starting above him at Real Madrid? Let's take a look at the tactics. And he's he's apparently the starter. Um, though uh, he's starting over Martinelli. So yeah, I would I would start I would start Eagle Skipper over Martinelli. Definitely not biased. It's fine. It's fine. Um, but yeah, worth ninety million pounds. Twenty one goals and fifty two caps for the USA. Termination dropped off a tad, but everything else. I mean, he just looks fantastic as well. Another elite winger. Also one of the World Soccer's global superstars. Let's take a look back at our short list. And our last but not least, Mr. Spaceman. He's also not getting too many appearances for Real Madrid. Only valued at $7.25 million. That's That's not a lot, but he's got Napoli and, and Celta Vigo wanting him. So hopefully he'll get some more playing time and can continue to develop 15 goals in 48 caps for the Russian national team. He's considered a leader personality. He went to Real Madrid from Spartak Moscow for 27 and a half million pounds. Played a number of games for his, the club he generated at uh, and started all of the last two seasons. Just didn't start at all this season. What, what happened? Zinedine must have thought that he had somebody else who can do better than this. I mean, this guy, 17 finishing with 18 tackling. You don't see that very often. Uh, Mr. Spaceman is another YouTube creator, and I tell you, man, you've got a, uh, you've got an interesting little fella here. But uh, yeah, let's let's see what else has happened in our time here. Uh, Menos Bro still in the championship. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Did I did I just see what I think I did? They did make it to the Premier League <laughs> 10 years later and then went down bottom of the league. Anyways, um, I don't know what else interesting to look at. Um, I think in the next edition of this series, I am going to go a season at a time. That way you get a bit better of a reaction um, because this is... I don't know. I skipped forward way too far this time. So uh, they're 24 now. We'll go until they're... We'll go, th we'll go three seasons next time. We'll take a little reaction for each of them. And uh, yeah, so if you are enjoying this series, please remember to leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe, share with your friends. And uh, I'll look to have another one of these kind of series where you guys get to create a player once, once a month. Yeah, so... Be on the lookout for the the April edition of this series. And uh, yeah, I'll continue to get these out until our guys start retiring. So uh, yeah, see you in the next episode.